Oh yeah! I am a god amongst men. An, an ascendant. ascendant. Probably. What you have seen today! Fucking this tie on. Uh, but actually, that is also pretty, pretty fucking interesting because I can just do this. The Roots Wax Storm. Outdated memes, anyone? Let's go. Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a new Legends of Runeterra ranked video. I'm, of course, the one that loves Yoda the most. It's the Love Giant, and we are going back, sorta, to a certain degree. We are playing some good old Monoburima Sun Disc. Ever since Zareth was rotated, which was two years ago, or one year ago, um, the whole Monoburima Sun Disc kind of thing was a little bit of... It feels forced, you know, it doesn't feel right, it feels like clunky and weird and it didn't work. However, the last, um, what was it, the last seasonal tournament, whatever, you know, the one that didn't get any coverage at all for some fucking reason. Um, good old Ama Jarel from EMEA brought this one alongside Nora, Id, Eddie and Morgana Mordekaiser, he brought this one, Azir Reggaeton. Mono Burima Sun Disc, and ever since he brought this, this one is now the 10th most popular deck. You see, like, the win rate isn't the best one, but it is good, as you can see, into uh, Bard Mordekaiser, which I, apparently is a thing, Nora Timo, but the, the meta game now is pretty diverse. Um, it's good against Deep, which also has cropped up a little bit. It's good against any Jin, which is, like, basically the deck that now is... Or that is good against the against Elder Dragon Galio Morgana or Eddie Galio Morgana, and that's why many people started playing any Jin and Az Azir Reggaeton Mono Burima Sandisk apparently has a pretty good matchup against it, 53.51% win rate, a, a better one as Eddie Galio Morgana obviously, and also is good against Caitlyn Timo that that has been sprung up against like some of the stuff obviously. However, we suffer greatly against uh, Mordekaiser Morgana, against the Heavy Hitter, against Gwen Z, which is also pretty goddamn good, and against the Viego variant of Eddie Mordekaiser, and also against Lurk, which also some people play. Um, we actually have matchups against a couple of these, um, and without spoiling anything, I gotta say, it worked way better than I thought it would. It's definitely better than Azir Reggaeton Nasus, that was like, you know, when the rotation happened and people started experimenting with that. It's definitely better than that. Uh, but yeah, see for yourself, good old Azir, Reggaeton, Mono Burima Masan Disc. Hope you enjoy it. The hell is this? Samira Fizz Nami? Okay. I think Samira again, though. Nami as well. So I get, yeah, Fleet Admiral Shelly and shit like that, probably. Well, it's two of a kind. <laughs> Twice. Do you have... No. No, he doesn't have anything to kill... Landmarks with. Oh, yeah. Good old Rock Bear Shepherd. Love you. He could get glory. He could get glory's call. Stop stealing. <laughs> now I'm not necessarily stealing, but cop copying. Your tail while I'm Double glory's call. Of course. 
You little shit. <laughs> Come and get it. It's mine. Stop it. No just because your units suck doesn't mean you <laughs> can't just steal mine. Well, if he has dropped the bomb, which I don't think he has, but that would kind of suck. Ooh! Great Emperor. Greatest of them all. Of course. Shurima, your emperor has returned. I could go for Glory's Call. Dead. Dead. Don't care about one damage. Well, to prevent actually further damage from Azir, I could have just blocked here, but... I want to make sure that I actually keep the, at least one um, Rock Bear Shepherd. But again, it's just like one damage, so what's the big deal, right? <clears throat> and for... Uh, reggaeton. I can just go reggaeton into or exhaust into reggaeton next turn, actually. So you do have something that deals two damage, I guess. Disgusting. Well, we'll see about that, though. Oh, defender. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna play it safe. Because you, know, you know for sure he's gonna try to kill Azir. And that's not gonna happen. Do make easier. Well, Shimmering Mirage is pretty good. Crumbling Sands is... Eh, yeah, I'll take it. If he ever plays Fleet Admiral Sherry, oh, Shelly, I can just fucking annihilate him. <laughs> Take down that sun disk. How much are we at? Four more. Gotcha. Oh, no. Okay, we obliterate that. Lock here. Actually... Well, he doesn't do anything anymore, so it doesn't matter. And it's like three damage coming through, so yeah. No big deal. No biggie. I fucking love the artwork here. All-terrain trooper. Lovely. Go for a Bakai. Desert duel? Yes. We can concentrate a little bit on reggaeton level up. With that. Mm, I guess the weakest would probably yeah, would be the one one. Okay. How good to serve the Emperor once more. Let it help you remember who you once were. Always member. Shelly! Coming for dead ass. <laughs> Cut them down, face your ass. Cut them down. Hell yeah. Carnage! Actually, I don't think this count. When I flip this, I don't think it counts, actually. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, wait. Let's see what we get. If I get the obliterate thing again, then I'm gonna use that. Yes. 
Gonna obliterate then. I'm gonna lose this, which is, is alright. Right. Azir level up. Another desert, du desert duel? Yeah. What you have seen today! It's two. It's one. If we get desert duel through, then that's that. Sure. Yes. 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 And the movie. Zier. That's beautiful. Yes! Ah. Feels good. Feels good. Let's fucking go. Um, actually... I play yes. Let's play. Let's, let's play him as is, because I want us to be on this little shit, anyways. Uh, yeah, right. Play defenders. I don't care about this. Yeah. I'm just gonna annihilate this thing <laughs> with good old re reggaeton here. Let's go! The root swag storm. Sure. Leave no trace. Yeah. Carnage. Hell yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. How often have you seen this? Not too often. Damn. I will. Sundisk, man. Okay. Pantheon. I see him paired up, paired up obviously, with Morgana and, Ak and Akshan, but. Good old Orn. Cutting himself loose from Jax, apparently. Good. Well, no idea what to expect here. But I guess it's gonna be probably similar to Orn Jax. Maybe. Sort of. Okay, we're gonna attack next turn. Ambassador. Sure. 
Okay, we got um, also <clears throat> good old Rock Bear Shepherd, which is gonna do a lot of heavy lifting here. I think most spells that they have are actually fast spell. If they have fish fight, that's slow speed as well as buried and ice. So our Vestaya is gonna do a do do a little bit. Good for you. Sure. Nice. 3-7 Azir. Solid. Forge. Actually. I'm gonna pass here. I see the synergy with the forge. The thing is, I let this I let this go out, out of control, probably, and that's that's the thing that disgusts me the most. Any, but I can actually just put him down to three with this, or five if he just goes for yeah that one again. Hmm. Of Bakheim. Another Shepherd sounds pretty good, actually. The problem is that I can completely forget to level what I get on here because of this shit. And even though I have exhaust, actually, so I can just pull anything else. That's alright. A yep, that gets rid of two positions here. I'm just gonna pull this. Not with the Zir though. The land obeys. When well, I actually I take down Rock Bear. I really want to keep that. Sure. <clears throat> Two cards left for him in hand. Ah, oh, give me, give me, give me the obliterate. Give me the obliterate, please. And I'm gonna smash this shit to the ground. Hell yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Uh, just as good. Just as good, actually. Um... Yeah. Let him do his thing. Hmm, no. I don't need him any more, actually. I can block here. Right. Let's 
go Glory's Call. Actually, we don't get it anymore because we level up anyways. Mm, five, six, seven. And we need two mana up for Sandstorm. So, yeah. We got that. Oh, wait! I can play a two mana spell before Swag Storm, and I'll do that. Azir! We want to lure out a little bit more mana from him. Sure. There's three mana left for him. Oh, I could have. I think I could have used actually the fucking this tie arm. Uh, but actually, that is also pretty pretty fucking interesting because I can just do this. The roots wax storm. Outdated memes, anyone? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, that's how we use that the root swag storm there. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, Zier. Glory. Terendamir Volibear. Okay. Well, our our friend, to a certain degree, I'm gonna keep Shepard, is definitely gonna be uh, Vestaya. All right, just like casual, casual Azir reggaeton here. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bakai first, just to get the uh, Azir progression. If we're lucky, we draw into another one. And then uh, Rock Bear Shepherd can also flourish from that. There he is. Um, yeah, let's go for the Styam. For now. <clears throat> mm, Quiet is a slow speed, so I'm just gonna attack. Get my damage in, go for Shepard, go into Vestaya. I think, yeah, it's just a little bit, like, occupied with just ramping at this point, so... There's that. Don't you dare quiet us. But it's not too bad. Let's make him scared. Do make chores easier. Nah. Nope. Not gonna happen. Avenged. Doops. Another rock by Shepard. I'd... I'd bet. <clears throat> Rise and shine, sleepy dupes. I'm gonna override the 1-1. One, one for maximum progression. He's trying hard to remove that. Ah, oh, yeah, another one. Nice. I take that. Friends do make chores easier. That yeah, removed some shit. I'm a little bit too cluttered up here. I 
Well, not the rock bear shepherd though. But past and present. Yeah, little shit. <laughs> For the glory of Azir. Let's see if we got this. We have Ambush, which doesn't do anything against Freezing, however. Yeah. Which sucks. But it be what it be. Hmm. Mm hmm. Nope. <laughs> Let's play the third one as well. Whoop. Hmm. Might be a trooper now. <laughs> Azir stays. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. Hell yeah. They cheer on me. Our legacy is eternal. Ah, how could I ever not play you as here? Fuck. Um Eddie Volibear. There we go. Defenders of the Sun Disk. I keep that. With some good progression. Um Invocation Mysticism Buried in Ice. And this one we like defenders, we get that anyway, so it's gonna be a best time. I just mentioned was just the spells that they have, so... <clears throat> Playing that on turn 3, the Vestaya, is gonna be definitely helpful. Do I care? Not really, I'm gonna play the defenders and chill. Definitely not gonna be needing the Rock Bear Shepherd, because that guy just... Accelerates the Sun Disk level up by by a ridiculous amount. I think he doesn't play Yumi. There's a swing. Surprised there's no Yadulski yet or Omen Hawk. Maybe he mixed up Lonely Poro for Omen Hawk uh, or Omen Hawk for. You know, and for Lonely Poro or vice versa. <clears throat> Maybe, you never know. Peace is a fool's promise. Gonna block here. Spread defend. Uh, defenders first, trooper first. Let's go trooper. Uh, this is also the last defender, so yeah. Mm, might as well. Okay. Well, in that case. Uh, where are we at? Six. Okay. We had five mana. Yep, exactly. <laughs> nope. Nope. Cease. Cease your ramping. Ah, gotta laugh as I am. Let's 
That slows him down. Um. Sure. <clears throat> I'm not gonna play Trooper, uh, because if I play <clears throat> a Reggaeton, I'm definitely gonna be going for Exhaust on him. I just have to hope that he doesn't have Harsh Winds next turn, and then I can just kill him. We'll die. Uh, yeah. I have to block that, because that's 4 impact damage. <clears throat> so that's no bueno. Gonna play him like this though. Oh, yeah, I definitely want the uh, minus two on him. Yeah, barely survive with that. First time I see this. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Play the Styam. And Ambassador. Azir is almost leveled. Plus two. Pretty good. Okay, Volibear could come down. Right? A little bit too late for Rock Bash Shepard here. Actually, I could have taken him, but I think Glorious Call is better. Gonna make you seize that. Got it. Ah, should have seen that coming. Have another one, though. Let's see. That's a snap pick. Make him think it's a Vastayam. Okay. Not sure why we play that now. Uh, puts him down to six. That's still not, not enough, sadly. Alright. Oh yeah, without Shepard or Azir, this is li taking a little bit too long, I think. Well, can I use Swagstorm on a hero? We're gonna find out in a second. Yep. Okay, see ya. Obliterate. That's no fun. 
Well, it's two to everything, I think. Disgusting. There's the Azir. Surprise. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I give you the GG for that. Not bad. Yeah, I got to show you no... No Azir and no Rock Bear Shepherd. Maybe I should have really taken them. Okay. Morgana Mordekaiser. Second most popular archetype. Uh, you have a lot of spells. Um, do I keep Trooper? Let's toss him. I'm gonna keep Vestayam. Nice. Exactly what you want to see in an Azir-related list. Actually, wait. Nice. I just want to see, because I'm not sure at the moment if um, what's it called? Quietus. Actually, I think it can it. No, it can't. No, it, no, 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 no. I was like, can it actually just kill uh, landmarks? But no, it was like the. Equipments. That's what I can destroy. Right. Get the money open to flip this. Oh. Go some disc. Defenders. Actually, the right call would have been Shepard here. Thank god. <laughs> we would have just killed this off then. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep three mana up though. Um, so I'm gonna go for Bakai first. Another Vastaya? Ah. Uh -huh. Maybe even Desert Duel? We don't have a Reggaeton yet, so. Let's go Bakai. I take that. Sign, okay, kill off something. Or not. You, you, you cannot. Look upon me. Okay. We also have a second Shepherd, which is nice. Pfft, got a third one. Let's go Ambassador. The second one in our hand. Rock Bear is slowly ticking down. Do I give you that? No. Definitely not. Cease. <clears throat> I think I go... I'll go this first, or Ambassador. Actually, let's go Sun Defender, get the last Defender in. Let that go through. Get him out of the way. 
So it doesn't do any shenanigans with uh, with Mordekaiser. Here you go. Azir. Good old Burima. I definitely have a Styam. What you have seen today! Let's go, Ambassador. Our prosperity and loyalty belongs to you. Well said. Cease. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> mm. Who's with me? The order is given. Friends do make tours easier. Well, the block was obvious, but I also have a 5 5 coming out now. Uh, wait, five, six, seven mana. Yeah, Mordekaiser could come down. The nerf. <clears throat> you little fucker. <laughs> I can play a Zero again, so that's not an issue. There is Glory's Call, which doesn't matter now because I think I'm just going to flip the Sun Disk. Even if he plays another Suppression, that's two mana and I can just deflect that, so not that big of a deal. Two mana, yeah. You need not follow, but you will witness. witness! <sighs> ah, it feels great, Azir. Not sure how you do this, but God, you feel great. Pause on that. <laughs> this, well, we can do something. Not much, but a little bit. Sure. Sadly, I don't have another trooper again, so it's gonna be uh, hard, aka next to impossible to probably, uh, you know, get reggaeton leveled. Um, think it's just gladiator here. Well, with this, it's possible to level him. Ooh. Um. Got that. Raise your spirit. Stronger. So that's gonna be the the eight form. Or I just a Nah, not gonna attack. I'm gonna do this though. Nope, just gonna pass. See ya. Yeah, because then he just blocks with the 4 2 or the 3 2, probably the 3 2. And then. Um, the barrier is gone, and I just lose Gladiator. I think should get Ambassador also, it's not gonna do anything anymore. <clears throat> no one is beyond my reach. No one. Fucking annoying piece of shit. Uh let's go for this. I am the Emperor's will. Teach our enemies the power of Sharima. Yeah. Burima. Let's go. Two one, I'm gonna override that with Emperor's Guard. Ah. 
He's actually gonna die to Gladiator. Which is kind of funny. So the best thing that he can do is just drag it. Well, not that. The 10-7 ten, ten, ten with the barrier to... So it dies. Or he doesn't do that. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I have another. I have another one. Almost overdrawn. Azir. Victory follows. Your footsteps shape the future. Return to us. Return to us. This with Sharima, we too are awakened. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. One gladiator is definitely gonna get rid of one of the Mordekaisers, that's for sure. Because there's only one left. <clears throat> well, actually, yeah, they're just gonna respawn, I guess. Or not. Ah, oh, yeah, it's... Is it obliterate? I'm not sure. Maybe. Ah, here we go. Actually, I'm gonna wait on that. Let's play the guard first. Your will is ours to obey. As with all Shurima. Sure. Well, almost. They just drag out the game. Not even zombie ash, just ash. Hmm. With P and Z. <coughs> okay. Forgot to get my emotes in here. Uh, where is it? There you go. No snow perro. Yet. Wouldn't surprise me if there, if there is one. No need to play actually the Defenders of the Sun Disc on um What's the word? Daybreak. Because we have the last one in our hands, so we can't even draw one more. We can obviously to get something out of him. Or try to bait something out, rather. No with like an Azir, because they don't have anything, it seems. Not just yeah. I was gonna say, we're definitely gonna flip. K. 
cat got your tongue. Hey. Let's also give a minus two. I actually could have pulled like with any of them, but of course. Of course, it's an Ash deck. Not even Vestaya can do anything actually there. It kind of sucks. Since it's fast speed. Let's see. I'm gonna go like full on Vestaya, I think. So the only protection that we have against him. Uh, that's over right here. Get the uh the Nazir. I have like no heal, so that's problematic if Vega don't get damaged. It's kinda harder to level him then. And not lose him. I would assume like something like Frozen in Fear is probably also in his deck. It's gonna keep keep wide. If you kill him, that's not an issue, because obviously I have a buffed one. Got the Azir now. That's good, because now our board is a little bit more spread out, so... And just refill. Real quick. And I got good old Ruthless Predator still, so maybe... Maybe... I can level him up. Maybe. <clears throat> Cease. Yeah. If Orn could see you now. Exactly. Let's actually play another one. Just to be safe. What you have seen today. Play something that I can kill, please, also. So, but I get on level up, also, you know. Would be kind of nice. Even though I don't think we're going to get that, sadly. We've got things to do. Not here, not now. Oh, proud city. <sighs> Every, everything kills Reggae Don. This sucks hard. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Come, we have an empire to build. Pass. First blood. No mercy. No surrender. Let's get this. So I have to play something on f burst speed because I'm definitely going to be using the Styam to cancel it.
Pretty sure as harsh winds are something like that. Or that. Kinda thought he would actually want to keep this 4 1. Yeah, I gotta play around. And there we go. Gotta play around that Vestaya. Die! Yes. You can suck it also, by the way. There you go. You direct. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it just needs like one freeze to actually just deny the desert duel here. So that kind of blows. Let's just see if I can level up if I can level the Sun Disk here. Here's the harsh winds and the wind for him, probably. <laughs> yeah, the harsh winds, ash attack. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a little bit of a meme deck with the Winter's Breath and especially the these these idiots right here. Should have probably like killed them off first. <clears throat> if there is no harsh winds, I might still have a shot. Maybe. Nice catch, Blank only and you. Too bad. Too bad you just got sacked. Ah. God Emperor, your will is I was about to say burst fucking. Other thing, burst um burst obliterate, please. Crumbling sensor, however it's called. Obviously, I'm not gonna be blocking with him anyways. Are you out of your mind? Hmm, actually. Hmm, yeah, I have to block like this. Do I? I don't. Spare no 
spare no one. Mm. Actually, I could have played as Zero's Arise and just get a but get a couple more Sand Soldiers onto the attack. But obviously, I have no Vestaya now, so. Actually, I don't. Yeah, like the thing is, like they mostly, anyways, they mo they mostly anyways have burst speed attacks, so or spells, so I don't think that even matters much. I think frozen and fear is actually just slow speed, so there's that. Oh yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah. I'm unworthy, Azir. <laughs> Holy shit, Sundisk. Sundisk actually kinda sorta maybe works. Those were some really spicy games. We've seen the reggaeton level up twice, something that I never seen before, I think. So, my friends, Mono Burima Sundisk is somehow back in the meta. I'm not entirely sure how, but you saw how good it works. Better than I anticipated, obviously. We've seen some weird decks, obviously some experimental stuff, um, but also some stuff that is obviously established, and again, it went better than anticipated. So, obviously, Mono Burima, Sundisk, Azir, Reggaeton. What is it all about? Obviously, we have one off of the Burima Buried Sundisk. Start of the game, summon one of me from your deck if it's all Shuriman. So if the entire deck is Shurima or cards from Burima, then it just sum automatically summons the Buried Sundisk. Has a countdown of 25, and then when that countdown has reached, you restore the Sundisk. When an Ascended Ally levels up, you advance the sun disk by nine rounds. And the an ally is obviously the two heroes that we play with. When the sun disk is um, restored for 25 countdown after 25 rounds or 25 ticks, basically, uh, it's, it destroys itself. Immediately draw one of each of your ascended allies. For the rest of the game, your level two ascended allies are level, f level three. So they level up twice, basically. So for ascended allies, obviously, we have good old Azir, the great leader. Love this guy. When allies attack, he's 3 mana, 1, 5. When allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. And he levels up when you've summoned 12 plus allies or landmarks. And yes, he himself counts. And yes, the sun disk also counts. Sand soldier is a 1-1 one, one ephemeral. Nexus strike, deal 1 to the enemy nexus. Usually it only deals 1 damage. If it hits the nexus, it deals 2. Um, when he's leveled, when allies attack, summon an attacking sand soldier. Obviously still. When you summon another ally, you gave us give us both plus one plus O oh this round. And that basically means that a sand soldier is 2-1, so he deals three damage to the Nexus, and also Azir gets plus one attack as well. When you have restored the Sun Disk, Azir, level three, goes from a 2-6 to a 6-6. Six, six. When I level up, replace your deck with the Emperor's deck. Then draw one. When allies attack, you summon an attacking sandstone charger, which is this one, a 5-2 ephemeral that obviously hits hard. It replaces your entire deck with the Emperor's deck, which has cards like uh, 9 mana, obliterate 3 followers, or 4, four mana burst speed, obliterate an enemy or an ally, can be a hero, can be a unit, burst speed can't be disrupted. Um, it has units like a... 5-3 I think it was with Fearsome that also draws you one. You have Burst Speed, draw two. Basically just a deck that completely annihilates the enemy. You have a 7 mana follower that has a 10-4 or 10-5 stat line I think it was or 10-7. Something like that. With Barrier and when the round ends he and the strongest enemy ally, hero, whatever follower uh, are gonna strike each other. So yeah. Some really, really, really wild stuff, obviously. And for the second Ascendant ally, we have Reggaeton. Overwhelm, 4-4, four, 4 four mana. When I challenge an enemy, give me plus 1, plus, uh, plus 2, plus 1 this round. And he levels when you've dealt 10 damage. Then he goes up, obviously, to a 5-5. Five, five, and upon attack, not challenge, attack, you give him plus 3, plus 3 this round. Still with Overwhelm. And when you've restored the Sun Disk, Reggaeton is a 10-10 Overwhelm. 
when I block or attack, deal two to enemies and the enemy nexus, which is Dominus Destruction. That also happens up when he blocks, you know? Fucking insane. 10 10 stat line, overwhelm. Have fun dealing with that, especially if he also deals two damage. That's even more overwhelm damage, basically, that hits the enemy nexus. Um. You've seen this twice. I don't think I've ever seen it on my side of the board, but goddamn, it's fucking terrifying, obviously, and. Terrifying and satisfying, obviously, when we're not on the receiving end, obviously. Um. So the thing is, like, obviously, when leveling up, reg reggaeton is the hardest one, as you, as, you, as you have seen. And we have multiple ways to actually accomplish this. Um, because we need to, you know, challenge something with reggaeton in order to get him to level in the first place. So for that, we have, um, not Desert Duo. Where was it? There it was. All-Terrain Trooper, obviously. We play him, or we can play him as a Shadow in the Brush. Um, Alterrain Trooper Ambush Zero, when I'm summoned or transform, grant the weakest enemy vulnerable. So we can just pull it with uh, Reggaeton. Uh, we also have uh, Exhaust, which is an even safer way, because not only does this give minus 2, minus 0, so the enemy deals less damage to Reggaeton, uh, it also gets uh, vulnerable, so obviously we can just pull it again with Reggaeton, be a little bit more safer, because also it deals 2 less damage to us. And you've seen, we don't have any heal, heal in the deck. Now, obviously, it all goes about uh, basically ascending the Sun Disk. If the enemy has, by the way, Landmark Removal, and given that we only have one Sun Disk, the gameplay is kind of shit, because we can't ascend Azir or a Reggaeton, but at least they can still have level 2, and they're pretty good on level 2 in the first place. However, we have Ancient Preparations, obviously. Upon play, you predict, which means you look at the top three cards, or three cards in your deck. You shuffle one that you choose on the top of the deck, so you get that next turn, and when it counts down for uh, two, then you summon a 2-2 a a two -two Clockling on the board. So, yeah, just a blocker, attacker, whatever have you. We have the Forsaken Bakai, three off, also for the early game, one mana, two, one uh, upon play, you predict again. Um, the other thing, if you pick a Dark and an Equipment, grant me plus one, plus one, we have neither of them in the deck, and we're never going to go for that. We have Defenders of the Sun Disk, which is pretty good early game, Daybreak. Which is, if it's the first card you play, you draw a Defenders of the Sun Disk, so you can just, you know, refill your hand with them. Two mana, two, two. Elite. So pretty good stat line for the beginning. You've seen how that comes into flourishing. Avenging Vestaya. Love this fucking card. You've seen this come into clutch multiple times. Ambush three. When I transform from Avenging Vestaya's Ambush, which is basically this one. Uh, when you play it as a brush first, you need three mana in order to... Um, we get the Vestaya to trigger. Um, stop all enemy fast spells, slow spells, and skills. So it's basically a Shurima Deny. That's why we don't run the four mana. Um, what was it? Uh, the four mana Shurima Deny. That's why we don't play Rite of Negation. Um, but rather opt out for the, the Avenging Vestaya. Because not only... There you are. Not only is it one mana less, but it also gives you a 3-3 with spell shield as well. So it can eat up some spells. Uh, that otherwise maybe would have gone for Azir or a Reggaeton. Um, then, obviously, we have Desert Duel. Give an enemy minus 2, minus 0 oh, this round. An ally and an enemy strike each other. That also can help out. You've seen that with the uh, Reggaeton level up requirement. 3 off of Quicksand. Uh, give an enemy minus 4, minus minus 0. Oh, or 2 enemies minus 1, minus 0 oh, this round. Disable their positive keywords this round. Also self-explanatory, obviously. We have Rock Per Shepherd. You've seen this come into clutch multiple times. This one just turbo levels the um, Sun Disk. When you summon one three three mana, when you summon another ally, advance your highest countdown landmark by one round. When I'm summoned, summon a hibernating rock bear. So not only do you get a one three, which is a pretty good stat line, you also get this one, which summons a grumpy rock bear, which is a five five on with the three mana countdown. And given that it's three mana countdown and the Sun Disk is usually a higher countdown every time you play an ally, uh, also. When this one turns into into Grumpy Rock Bear, or if Ancient Preparations turns into a Clock Link, that also advances the clock, or basically gives a tick from um, from the Rock Bear Shepherd. So this one obviously is there to just accelerate the Sun Disk level up. We have the Golden Ambassador, three, th uh, four mana, three two, and uh, when it's Allegiance, aka if the top card in your deck 
is a top card that matches her region. We only have a Shurima deck, so that's 100% gonna be the case. Then we draw a champion and grant that champion plus two, plus two. Awesome for both. Azir is gonna be a 3-7, so not only does he deal damage that way, but he's also even harder to remove. And Reggaeton is obviously gonna be the biggest benefit beneficiary of that, if that's a word. Because he's going to be a 6-6 Overwhelm, obviously. So it's easier to also get his uh, level up requirement for dealing 10 plus damage through. And for Glory's Call, I cost 2 less for each diff different Ascended ally you've summoned this game. Ultimately, this can go down to 3 mana if we've played Azir and Reggaeton. Manifest a card from the Emperor's deck with cost 9 or less, which is pretty much everything except Ascended, ascended something. Um... The two thing that gives you a level three um, Nasus and level three, or an ascended Nasus and an ascended Reggaeton, uh, can go can go all the way up as you've seen to the the root swag storm. So it can give you the nine mana obliterate three units. Um, so yeah, this card definitely comes came into clutch multiple times as well because this can gives you some really fucking amazing cards because it pulls it straight out of the the Emperor's deck. And with that being said, my friends, that is it for the deck tech. Obviously, the, the Emperor's deck is a whole other can of worms that I won't be diving into. But also, obviously, it has completely OP cards because you need an Ascendant Azir. So it's going to take a while to actually get there. And obviously, if it replaces your entire deck, then it better be fucking baller. And it definitely was. And you've seen also seen that being the winning factor. So yeah. That was it for this deck tech, dear friends. Definitely try it out yourself. Again, the win rate doesn't look too good. But, um, you've seen it. If you run into experimental blends, and you will, because I played it in, played it in Diamond. Actually, not in Diamond, in... Platinum. Uh, it definitely works out well. So yeah, try it out for yourself. Give give good old Zia Reggaeton Mono Brema Sandisk a spin. And just gain some ranks. Emperor approves. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one.